All right, the next chord we're going to do is the E minor 7. And there's a couple of different ways that you can do this chord. If you remember correctly, the E minor is just two fingers, the second fret on the A and the D string, second fret. And I like to play that there because if the E chord, you put your pointer finger down there. But we're E minor. So a very simple way to play the E minor 7. If you remember the E7 is like that. E minor 7 would be just pick up that ring finger and you got There's basically four notes in this chord. There's an E, a G, a B, and a D, and you get them all there. The open E. There's the B, D, G, B, E. But there's a lot of there's a couple different ways you can play this. So you can play that E minor, and you can put your ring finger down on the B string at the third fret. It's a D. There's the D note. Well, that sounds good, doesn't it? Then you can add another element to that, and you can add another G by putting your pinky down on the E string at the third fret. So very simply, one finger on the A string at the second fret, three fingers, middle finger down at the second fret. D string, pinky down or ring finger down on the B, the third fret, and then the last one, that pinky down. And here's a little bit of trivia there for you. You can go from the G to a C add 9 to an E minor, e minor 7, and you'll see that a lot in songs. The C add 9 we haven't talked about, but that's basically a G bumping those fingers down. But there it is, E minor 7.